Hi, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about thought candy and how to strike a balance between enjoying thought candy and also socializing. So what is thought candy? Thought candy is just a term that I use to describe when neurodivergent people really have a topic that they just love to think about. They love to talk about it. They love to research it. It's just something that just lights them up. There's all sorts of different topics for thought candy. Everybody has their own and their own angle on it, but it's something that you might see yourself kind of immersed in a scenario around it, or maybe you study up on it because you, you, then you become an expert on it. So you watch videos about it, and it's just a topic that you thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy thinking about. And there's nothing wrong with having a great topic like that or something that you enjoy. There's no problem there, but it, there does need to be a balance. Just like any diet, you can't have candy all day long. You know, you wouldn't eat candy all day long. You certainly don't want to have thought candy all day long either. So you can have periods of the day where you do think about it and you immerse yourself into that thought, but then there's going to be times when you need to either be social or you need to get things done. So you might need to get your homework done. You might need to get chores done, get someplace on time. And you don't want to have this immersion in this thought candy be something that prevents you from you know, really interacting with other people and getting on with your life. And if you ever have trouble getting out of that thought candy moment and moving into something more social, um, one of the things that might help you is to do some mindfulness. So what mindfulness is, is when you really just train your brain to focus and it takes practice. So there's a lot of apps out there that you can try in terms of working on your mindfulness, but it kind of builds up a brain muscle so that you're able to pull yourself out of that thought that you're enjoying so much and be more engaging with other people and to be able to talk about other topics. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the like button, hit subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more videos to help children, teens, and young adults improve their social lives and leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you think you might need some help with your socialization, we run social skills programs in person in Tingsboro, Massachusetts, and we are online globally. All you need to do is call or text the number below and set up a quick phone call, see if our program is a good fit, and then we can do a free trial and see if it's right for you and, and kind of see if it's something that you want to continue to do.